What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the gas station. My name is Bjorn. You can call me Bear to all my friends and subscribers. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for subscribing. Thank you guys for showing up, commenting, sharing with your friends. It's been a roller coaster. I have not been posting lately, but I will be posting more often. With that said, we'll get right into the episode. Today's pretty special. It's my first sponsored video. It's not paid for, so I'm not getting paid for this, but regardless, they hooked me up with some gear that I needed, and I'm going to make a video for it because I just want to show my appreciation back to them. So with that said, I hope you guys like the video. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think of the product. If you guys think it's shitty, you guys like it, whatever you guys put down there, and I will get back to you as soon as possible with a comment right back to you. So with that said, we'll get right into it, and I'll show you what I got. I got some products right here. Let's check it out. So I have these purpose built, let's see, stems or valve stem caps for my tires. And they say, fuck off. And they say, PBM. So, purpose built motorcycles. Valstim covers, Valstim caps, whatever you want to call them. And we have linkage. We have the linkage that I needed for my bike. Oh, so badly. I'll tell you what, I got into a situation the other day. I needed to get the hell out of there like yesterday. And well, when I needed my bike the most, the shifter linkage failed. And, well, I still needed to get out of there, so, you know, grabbing the clutch with your right hand, crossing over, and then trying to shift your linkage with your left hand is um, not the safest thing, um, especially after you've had a couple soda pops, but obviously we don't be drinking on this channel or anything, so, you know, it is just one of those situations. I want to say thank you again to Purpose Built Motorcycles. This is the shit. I can already feel the quality. It is completely different. I can't wait to open it up, show you guys the actual quality compared to this one, to the original one, the stock one that's on there. It's way heavier, way thicker, like maybe three times as thick. Like the, the eyelets are way bigger, way more heavy duty. I mean, everything about this is way way better guys so we got valve stems gear linkage or shifter linkage and on the back of their card they got some cool stickers i will say you guys need to go check out their channel or check out their website go check it out you guys need any parts i'm pretty sure they have bagger parts and they also have dyna parts go check it out they have some badass shit some good stuff I mean, take this for instance. The only other place that I know you can get one of these is like Alloy Art. And if you've ever bought anything from Alloy Art, you know it's kind of pricey. I think this is $20 or $30 cheaper than Alloy, um, Alloy, Alloy Art part. And it's cheaper than it. And it, I've seen the other Alloy, Alloy Art parts and they are not as thick or as made with as much quality as this one's made with so with that said i just want to say thank you guys for shooting that over i also got badass t-shirt see what it says here badass Ride fast or get past. And you know what? If you've ever rode with me, um, I usually don't let people pass me. Unless you're on a street bike or something, you ain't getting past me. It's a badass t-shirt. See what's on the front of it. Purpose built motorcycles. Thank you guys for that. What else do we got? And we have a badass hat so you know we're gonna be wearing that again shout out to you guys thank you guys so much for supporting the channel 
and we will now get right into the part that needs to be changed. And honestly, it didn't break. They always break, so I didn't think of fixing it, but um, pretty much it just came out with the threads on this side. It popped off. Um, there was probably only a couple threads in there at the time. Uh, this thing rattles a little bit with the big engine that I have in here. Sorry about the car. Um, extra noise out there, but um, there was only probably a couple threads. This thing rattled out, and when I hit the shifter, completely came off, and I was in a rush to get the fuck out of there. So, I got home. I put some blue Loctite on it. I thought the threads were stripped or something. Um, I needed to figure it out more when I got home, so got it fixed. Everything's good. I went on another 100 mile ride the other day and everything was good, but I had already got the part, already talked to Purpose Built Motorcycles, and is it Purpose Built Motorcycles? Or, yeah, it's motorcycles. Like, it doesn't say motorsports, does it? No. So, anyway, we're going to take this piece off. I already got the other one, so... I want to take this, I mean, it's a stock one, it's been on there for a while, I spray painted it gold, and spray painted a couple of other things gold, like the bracket up here for the horn that goes attached to the top of the motor, and like my covers on my brakes, what else did I do, there's just a couple pieces that are gold on here, but it is spray paint, and we are going to take these things off, so... I'm going to take this off right now, put the other one on there, show you guys how to do that now. So these are righty tighty lefty loosey, normal threads, I'm pretty sure it's a 3 8 we'll get in here and we'll undo this. Stick around. So we have the 3 8 we're going to get right in there right now. Oops, it's fucking going the wrong way. No, I'm going the right way. It's a little bit of blue Loctite. Guys, look at the difference between this. It's absolutely ridiculous. You have this little chintzy thing with these little ball bearing, or these little balls that are attached in there that always break usually after they've just been worn out. I don't have a heavy foot, but people that I do know that have a heavy foot, I'm not gonna say any names, they usually break those off. I have a couple friends that's broken three of them and we put just as many miles on my bike but i will say check that stuff out right there guys that is called quality you can adjust it make it longer or shorter but i'm pretty sure it's probably the right length where it's at but um wow just amazing stuff right here guys actually a ball joint rather than this little shitty ass ball joint that's inside of there. They just get loose and then it pops out eventually. So this one, not gonna happen. If it gets loose, it ain't going anywhere. It's just, you could tighten up the bolt. So I will say it's like three or four times, <laughs> three or four times heavier than it, way stronger, way more quality better built it's purpose built motorcycles guys thank you guys to them for giving me this stuff right here and i can see the quality in it very good product so let's put this on the bike now before we do anything guys we're gonna put a little bit of loctite on here sorry i don't have my light on here i just ran out but i will give you a little tip blue loctite and when you're taking this off, take off the front one first. This will lay down, and then you can get to the back one a lot easier. With that said, that's pretty much only tip for this. It's a five minute job. We're gonna 
take our 3 16 blue Loctite on the bolts, take our new product, I'm going to adjust it if I need to, and I will both sides adjust. I wonder if it can fit on um, other bikes, but my bike is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is pretty much from any diner from 06 up mm, to at least 2016, so check their website out. Looks like a great product. All right, guys, let's put this in. So we got the blue log tied in. And we're going to try to put it in by hand a little bit. We're going to start off with the back. I measured the bolt. Um, I already had it on. So I measured the bolt. It goes all the way through. There's like one or two threads um, that it's short, the bolt's short about one or two threads, but for the most part, it goes all the way through. I'm gonna use this guy to get it started, but you do not want to. You do not want to mess these threads up, guys. So. I'm doing it very lightly. I imagine you can put it, um, you can put this on the opposite way where you can't read it. This one side is flat and the other side's round, but I'm pretty sure that it would be fine. The round part, I don't think it's gonna touch the inner primary. The little round part off the end of here broke off. So it's kind of worthless right there. And remember you can adjust. You can adjust this right here to where it comes out. How I have it set up right now, like if I came out, it would drop my shifter. So like if I had my shoes on, I can, instead of taking the shifter off, I can adjust, I can adjust it from one of these spots on here, make it come out, but it's all the way in right now and it's set up right now for my boots. So there's more gap between my shifter and my boots, but if I was to come out on that linkage, it would drop it down. Say if I wanted to put my shoes on and ride with it more comfortable. Um, but for the most part, I don't ride with shoes on. I ride with boots. And that's where it's set up. And that's how it's set up for. I was thinking about greasing up the ball right here, but it seems to be free and I don't think it needs to be greased up at all. Just little things like that I like to do. I like to grease everything up, but it really does not need it. But if you happen to do it or put a little spray lube in there or something you'll at least keep it from getting rusty but I don't think it's going to get rusty I'm pretty sure that this is stainless right here and it doesn't roll constantly so it's pretty much stuck in one spot so I'm not going to worry about greasing it Just 
just about there. To get a little bit of torque on there. I imagine it's something like 10 inch pounds. good just like that just a little bit of torque make sure that it's in good yep it's all good it's tightened up good so we're gonna put the front bolt on lock tight same thing I think I'm able to use my t-handle on this side put it through a little bit get this guy Make sure it's straight, goes on very easily. If not, take it off and try it again, or check your threads and make sure they're not stripped. This is good. Give it a crank. And that's gonna do it there, guys. Beautiful piece right there shifter linkage I just want to say another shout out to purpose-built motorcycles thank you for the material I mean the, the parts and whatnot the clothing I will say I'm wearing the hat right now if you got a tall head it's probably not the best one to wear but you know if you got a short head smaller head it's pretty good if you have a tall head I wouldn't buy it but they may have other hats and whatnot, different sizes, so check it out. Um, again, go to their website, check it out, man. I mean, look at the beautiful piece in there. Absolutely. Nice piece of equipment right there. Very strong. <laughs> Built absolutely fantastic, bro. It's fucking savage shit right there. Thank you again, Purpose Built. I put on my valve stem caps right there. And they're in. Pretty badass. Um, got the other one right here. Extra shit that I have in here. You know. One day someone could use this, you know, Barnett clutch, springs, extra green one, and extra double banjo for a dual disc up front. This was for a smaller, um, this is a smaller bolt than I needed, but I got all kinds of extra parts. I keep that there for, you know, extra parts, anybody that needs extra parts and whatnot. So, again, absolutely badass piece. Um, I really like it a lot. You guys, go check out their website. I can't say enough about it. Quality product. And with that said, guys, I appreciate you guys being here. And, you know, if you're not filming, it's practically a five-minute job. So, um, it shouldn't take you much. Go check it out on their website see if they have anything that you might need again thank you guys for being here please like and subscribe show your friends all that good shit and i'll see you guys on the next one the gas station's fucking out peace